Hey guys, this is Adrian and I want to show you a brand new feature of AVO. It's called branding and it's the first iteration on changing the appearance of AVO. Um, so we have new documentation, uh, a new documentation page here. You can check it out, but we'll go through it uh, step by step. So I'll start by uh, going on a Teams page and this is what you'll probably see in, in your uh, AVO. Uh, app you'll see like the blue branding everywhere like the links and the buttons and everywhere but maybe you want to give it a little bit of uh, color so i'm going to jump into my initializer and somewhere in your initializer you'll find this new config or you can copy it from the documentation page so it's config.branding and you can uh, change a few things here so you can uh, let me just copy uh, comment these out so you can, we'll start with the colors. So you can change the background now. So you can change it uh, to use an RGB, um, uh, an RGB color, and you just have to prepend it a hash bang. So now if I refresh the page, you get this new blue background, or you can just uh, do something else. Yep, perfect. Now that doesn't look so good. Uh, I'm just going to copy something from like Cookpad. I love this. So this is not RGB. This is um, th it actually this is RGB and this is hex. Yeah, sorry about that. So RGB without the commas, just with spaces between them. And now if I refresh the page, I get this nice um, maybe yellowish tint uh, for the background. The next things I can uh, customize are the colors like. Uh, and we use Tailwind um, to style AVO. So if you use Tailwind, you are um, comfortable with their color scheme. So let's go to the Tailwind page and let's say color. I never know how to get to this. So I get to this default color palette. So they, they have these uh, this the default color palette where you can use, you can draw inspiration from or you can build your own. So they have this uh, coding from 50, 100, 200 to up to 900, and they those colors change um, uh, change uh, when you change that uh, that color code. So use the same uh, color coding for brand, for the branding feature. So you can change the 100 um, color. This will change uh, subtle things like. I don't know what right now, but I'll figure them out and I'll show you. Uh, but then we have like 400, 500, and 600. Well, 500 is the main primary color, so this will be the 500. The hover uh, will be 600, and I think uh, the 400 is used for the links or something like that. So basically, when you change these, uh, if you use the color coding from uh, Tailwind or something similar, you'll, you can add brand new colors to your app. So I have some right here uh, and I'm just going to copy them. So if we want to use like a red color scheme, we can do that. And now if I refresh, you'll see everything turned red. So uh, I guess this is the 400, this is the, uh, the 500 and this is the 600 color. Uh, so now you see every link has turned red the button the main button has turned red uh and i think even the progress bar it turns red so uh and and even the select so everything just looks a little bit different uh, i'll go and choose maybe green maybe this is your color okay and now i refresh yep so everything turned green and we can even use something like orange so these are just a few of the colors that I chose to demo with right now, but you can use whatever color you want. So you can use hex or uh, a red, green uh, and blue RGB. Perfect. Now, the next thing you can choose to change are the charts, the charts color. Um, we, we could have tried and figured out some colors for you from the main color scheme, but this doesn't really work out uh, every time. So let's try and use uh, a different color scheme. We chose to just let you deal with it and let you uh, figure out what colors are working best for your uh, app. So you see, these are some colors. So you have like one, two, and three. You have three, three types of colors. So this, this will be the one, this will be the, the second, the third, fourth, fifth, and so on. So these are these, uh, values are just passed on to uh, 
um, chart kick and it and the uh, chart kick passes them down to chart.js which generate these charts so you can totally customize the the look and feel for um, the charts as well now the next thing we wanted to make it more easy for you was how to change the logo so you can already do something like rails generate avo eject and then you would say logo and it would eject the logo partial so logo html and here you'd have something you wouldn't have you have something like this so one image tag with a link to and you would fiddle around maybe the classes and so on but we chose to, to, to go a different route. So now if you give the branding option, you give them a, give it a logo and a logo mark of um, values, you'll have two logos for yourself. So this would be the logo version. And now whenever we go into mobile, into a mobile view, I'm just going to make this. This is now the logo mark. See, so this is just something more squarish. So whenever you don't have too much vertical space too much horizontal space here uh, you just switch to the logo mark and everything just is just smoother and when you when you do have more horizontal space it will just uh, transition that to the regular logo so whatever you give it here it should uh, pick up and use your assets perfect and now you can delete this uh, logo um, partial if you have it in your app or maybe you just want to eject it and um, use it for yourself. Um, so what did we talk about? So we talked about, uh, talked about the, the brand color, we talked about the charts, and we talked about uh, customizing the logo. Perfect. So you'll find all the details in the branding. Uh, we'll release it now today. Uh, so it's going to be in 215, I think. Uh, there's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, this, is, this will be released as beta, so we have some more styling things coming towards you and uh, this is why we this is why this is in beta so some things might change so maybe the branding api over here might change a little bit so but it's not going to be a very big change so just be aware of that so perfect thank you so much for being with us um, and see you in the next one